shapes depend on Euler characteristics, but that's just the assumption. So let's give let's see see an example. Surface dimension. So the surface is called a ball. The dimension is three D. The shape of it is like basically just a spear, but it has it inside. So just the spear with it inside. And its equation is x wait uh, x x belongs to our cube such that x is less than or equal to one. So it can be equal to or less than one. Now let's take, so basically you can, before we go into a disc, you can basically say a sphere is a 3D disc, what? Now, let's take a disc. A disc is two dimensional. And that's like a speed, a ball, but it has an inside. But it's equated this time is x belongs to r squared such that x is equal to one. So you can see it changes the exponent. Now, what? Now, what about a line? A line segment, a closed interval. It's one dimensional, obviously. It looks like this. And it's equation, it's x belongs to r such that, ooh, x, uh, is less than one. It cannot be equal to one. It has to be less than one. Now, if you do the math, all the, these three shapes all have the same Euler characteristic. So, This is a ball, spear with it inside, a disc, a circle with it inside, and line segment, hold the turbo. The chi for all of them is one. However, they're topologically not the same because changing this to this is it changes its topology. And changing this to this changing changes not called continu continuous deformation. Yes. This is called a deformation retract. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe to Barry Sykes Lab for more videos. And I hope you buy my book. It's coming out.